What's up everybody, my name is Dimitri and today I'm gonna be bringing you guys through the process of how I made this shoe start to finish. I'm super stoked on this. I've now been working on shoes for one week. My stitches still aren't perfect, could use some work, but I am super stoked on this. I have a pair of Adidas of donor soles. I am gonna clean these up before I glue them to the shoe because these look terrible. I'm excited to show you guys how I do it. So, as you can see, we've made it pretty far. We're almost to the end. All we have to do now is join the back. This is the hardest part of the shoe. I'm gonna glue this together, and then I'm gonna throw it in the sewing machine and try and get my lines as lined up as I can on, on here. It's gonna be difficult, but I'll make it happen. And then we're almost done with this shoe, guys. So I hope you're enjoying this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Well, let's see how this turns out. just about finished here all i have left to do is the tongue of the shoe i already cut out some foam for it I'm about to make that and then i have the inner foam which i also cut out and prepped i got two layers of foam for the tongue and two layers for the heel section and i got my inner fabric cut as well so pretty soon we'll be done here i hope you guys are enjoying this so far this piece for the tongue inside out and the reason for that is because i want to have a seamless stitch along the tongue just like this and the back of the shoe is also going to be the exact same way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this out and then we're going to flip it
my contact cement and I'm gonna line the entire inside of this. Now this stuff works super, super well. There's other people who like using the E6000, but I do not recommend using this. Uh, contact cement is by far the best. This stuff sticks like you wouldn't believe. And then once this all dries, once I put the glue in, I'm gonna hammer the nails back down. And then once it dries, I'm gonna file all these imperfections out and then I'll be ready to be glued to the sole. So without further ado, let's get on to gluing. All right, guys, and just like that, we've got a pair of shoes. This is so sick. I never thought that I'd come this far in making these shoes. Like I was showing you before, this was the first pair I made. These are crazy looking. I did not think I was capable of making something like this. As you can see, this shoe, I'm super proud of the stitching I did on it. It's still not the best, but it's definitely improved from every single shoe I've done thus far. And then all I gotta do now is wait for this glue to dry, file down all the bumps, and then glue it to the sole. And then I'm gonna have my very first shoe from start to finish, so I'm super excited on this. This shoe here, the one I did a couple days ago, I still have to make a few adjustments on this, so I have to unlast the whole shoe, get it back to its full fabric form, and I have to extend the toe cap a bit because I cut that way too short. So that's one thing to note. If you are going to make shoes, always leave yourself some extra fabric because you never know when you're going to need it. Um, and then I just got to fix the back here, which I don't think should be too hard, but I guess we'll see. So guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. Let me know in the comments below what shoes you want to see me make. Maybe I'll make a custom pair of shoes. I'm really excited that I'm starting to make shoes. Let me know what you guys think of these. And... Stay tuned for more. Part two will be out in two days. Thanks for watching, guys.